and welcome to Publisher 2013. Just like the rest of the Office Suite, it too has undergone a major colour scheme overhaul and the colour they've selected is a turquoisey aqua colour. Now when you first start Publisher, you have the option to open Publisher Documents or create a new Publisher Document using many of the built-in templates. We just have lots of different blank pages and then we start hitting calendar, letter, business letter, thank you card, certificates, invoices, etc. Those are just the main templates. You can then look at, say, for example, labels. And that will do a search for label templates, all searching from online. A lot of the 2013 things come from online. And here we have a list of suggested labels. Now we can filter by various formats. Perhaps we want to stick with Avery labels. Business labels in red, large monogram address, large return labels, etc., etc. Let's go back to home. We're going to start with a blank publisher document, standard letter size. That then takes us into publisher with a document open. We have a lot of ribbons, a lot of standard name ribbons, home, insert, page design, mailings, review and view. On the home ribbon, you'll find that a lot of the items are currently greyed out. That's because in publisher, you actually have nothing on the page until you put something on the page. So if we actually insert a text box, because it will allow you to type on the page, what you will then find is with the text box selected, suddenly you've got a lot of options on the home ribbon that are available. So all the font items are available, all the paragraph items are available, all the styles items are available. So the home ribbon is mainly for controlling font, but also for doing quick inserts of a text box and other shapes and tables. We have the insert ribbon for doing your inserts of all other objects, new pages, for example. So I could go for a new page in my document insert a duplicate page, which is a copy of the current page. And now you'll find that the navigation pane down the left has its uses, because we can now move between the open pages within our publication. We can insert tables, pictures, page parts. There's a lot of built-in page part templates for publisher. You can see their headings, quotes, sidebars, etc. Calendars, borders, advertisements. We have draw text box again on the insert ribbon as well as on the home ribbon because it's that popular. Word art, other files. We then have a page design ribbon for controlling the margins, the page orientation, turning on guides, deleting objects, changing the color scheme of your document, changing the background and even accessing the master pages. There is a mailings ribbon for turning your publisher document into a mail merge document so that you can merge it with some data, perhaps held in Excel or in Access, that you can then create multiple documents that are customized to each record. We have a review ribbon and using the thesaurus and then a view ribbon to allow you to turn on or off items. So perhaps you don't want to see the guides, perhaps you don't want to see the boundaries, perhaps you don't want to see or you do want to see fields, perhaps you don't want the rulers on, you can turn them on or off. So these little ticks are on off ticks. Page navigation, so the little bar on the left with the two pages in. We're not interested in dealing with the scratch area. So you turn on or off what you want to see. And then there's the option to arrange, cascade or switch between open documents. So if you have a couple of publisher documents open, you can cascade them on the screen or you can arrange them side by side, or you can just simply switch between the open documents. Now, as well as the standard ribbons that we see here, and obviously the quick access toolbar here, that you can add other items to. We have context sensitive ribbon. So if I were to select that text box, we get a text box tools format sub ribbon to allow me to control that text box quite extensively. How the text aligns in it, top, middle, bottom, left, right, text direction, the font, font size, all those kind of things, even the color, etc. And then drawing tools format for actually controlling the box that the text sits within. And we can control the outline, so we can change the color, the border style, the background color, the outline, the shape effects, put them behind it, put them in front of it, put them next to it, etc. So that's a quick guide to Publisher 2013. I'm sure you're going to have some fun. Publisher really is designed for any size of document, and then you add your objects and design your item.